What's happening everybody? So today we are going to, well Evie's going to finish removing the glue on this cabinet and then we are going to paint it with the screen and finish it, well finish it until we put the, the, the finish on it, but we'll show you what we're going to do with it. Uh, we're still experimenting with a couple things, so we'll figure that out. Uh, I am also, while she's doing that, I'm going to finish painting the grill. We're painting it black because it was silver and faded and it looked like ass and I did not like it. It's extremely hot out today, so I'm a little itchy, got a little allergies going on. But uh, let me show you guys something really cool that we did that I highly recommend that everybody do. So we got our windows tinted with this uh, it's nano ceramic or something like that. It blocks out like 50% of heat. We got as dark as we could on the back windows. That's 5% limo tint. Uh, same on these ones. And the side windows, we went down to 18, which is pretty dark. The Astro is only 35 on the sides, but I wanted it a little bit darker. Uh, not exactly legal, but I think we'll be okay. And the windshield, and wait a minute, wait a minute, before you start saying, dude, you tinted your windshield, you're nuts. This thing makes it so much easier to drive at night because the glare from oncoming headlights and other lights makes your eyes adjust to that brightness so you can't see the dark stuff as well. Well, this tones down the flare from bright lights like headlights and street lights and stuff, and you can see everything so much better and it's not overwhelming for your eyes. So this actually makes it way safer to drive at night. And during the day, it's so much better and it stays so much cooler in here because this giant piece of glass just lets heat right in. Uh, today it's like 90 something, yesterday it was 80 something, yesterday it was cooler inside the van than it was outside even though it was sitting out in the sun all day. So no matter how well you insulate your van, it's, it doesn't matter if you don't tint the windows with quality tint. I highly recommend the ceramic stuff. Um, I have no idea why anybody would not want to tint their windows. I mean, not only is it great insulation, but it's also great privacy. Uh, if you have stuff in there, nobody can see it. Uh, if, you, if you live in your vehicle, it'll be a lot harder for someone to tell that you live in your vehicle. So there is that. Um, go out and get your window tinted. Highly recommend it. So we're gonna get started here on uh, doing all the stuff we gotta do. So it turns out I put my uh, paint pants in the wash. So we're finishing up this, Evie's uh, removing all the glue. How much do you like this Gorilla Glue? How much do you like removing it? It's actually kind of fun. It's fun? It's a lot of work though. Yeah, it is well, a lot. Yeah, I think we're gonna try. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I forgot your username. Uh, someone com was it SC1212 that recommended uh, the CA glue? Maybe. I think. Ah, oh, man, I forget who it was right now. Uh, someone recommended CA glue from a. Uh, it's super. It's real super glue from a uh, hobby store that's foam safe. So we're gonna try that next time because she spent the entire day uh, yesterday removing the glue from this, and she's still working on it. So we're gonna try the CA glue next time. It doesn't expand like this, and it. it should be a lot easier to do this um, without adding all the extra work. And it, it sounds like it might stick better too. So yeah, once this is done, we'll clean it up and then get started on gluing down the, uh, the bleh, 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 fiberglass screen to it. Okay, so it's time to get painting. <laughs> So I had a little bit of peeling on that um, on that grill. I must not have washed off all the all the. Uh... All right, so we got a little bit of peeling on here, like right here, and down in there. Uh, it's not too bad, but um, I wish I would have washed off all the um, soap before I painted this. Prep is like 95% of a paint job, or whatever they say. Um, and we obviously did not do that adequately, but it still looks a lot better than it did and I think it's good enough It's a uh, a 10 foot paint job. So there's that. Uh, looks like we're getting started on the cabinets here Evie's been uh, getting started on this. I'm not gonna do a big how-to um, Paint the screen in because I already have John's video if you guys want to know how to do that There's no one better to show you than John's so check out my video on how to put together foam uh, cabinets um, other than that, we're pretty much just going to tell you like what we learned along the way that wasn't included in that video just to save time. Um, what, have you learned anything so far other than what's in the video? Um, follow pre-cut is mainly for me to be first, so you can just do it all at once. Instead okay, of, so... Instead of paint and cut, paint and cut. Yeah, pre-cut all of the uh, screen 
first. I think she's right. That would save a lot of time. Um, a lot of people asked, like, what glue did you use? And then they said, what paint did you use? The, we use the Gildan Gripper paint, which is like part paint, part glue. It's like kind of this weird mix. It smells like Elmer's glue. It acts like glue, but it's also thin like a paint. So it's kind of a weird mix. So Gildan Gripper paint. And John was very adamant that that is the, uh, the only stuff he found that works to glue the, uh, the fiberglass screen to the foam. So we're going to keep going, and I'll just chime in and let you guys know uh, what else we discover while we're putting this thing together. I'm in the Astro now, heading to Home Depot. We started running out of gripper paint really fast, so we gotta go get some gripper paint. I'm gonna make an entire video comparing the Astro to the Express, like in detail as far as like vans willing and just drivability and everything. But man, this Astro is fun to drive. It's quick, it's zippy, it turns really fast. But because of that, it's kind of fatiguing to drive on long drives. And even short drives just require so much more energy to drive, um, where the Express, that long wheelbase, just makes it so smooth and so, it just stays on a straight arrow, but it is a pain to uh, park, and it's not very fun to drive. Uh, the Astro is just such a blast, man. I love driving this thing, especially with this exhaust on it. This Magnaflow makes this thing like, yeah, like it's fun, you know? I wanna take it up in the mountains and see what it can do. But uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Gonna grab some more gripper paint and, uh, be back at the house. All right guys, so I'm back now. Uh, Evie's still working on the screen stuff. I'm gonna polish up the emblem on the, for the grill so I can put the grill back on. Uh, what's your biggest tip when working with this stuff? Um, don't be stingy with the glue. Don't be stingy with the glue, all right. So you guys can see more of her side of how this is happening on her channel. I'll put a link in the description and probably up in the card section. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get going on this grill. Okay, so I have my emblem here which goes on the front which is all scratched up and kind of ugly. I've got my Dremel with a little buffer wheel on it. And I've got a little polishing compound that came with it. <laughs> You're cute. So, I'm going to get a little polishing compound on here. I already washed the uh, emblem pretty well. Let's see if I can turn this on a lower setting. There we go. There we go. And I'm just going to polish this thing up real quick. Well, looks like I went a little too high and burnt the hell out of this thing. So maybe we'll paint this too. I don't know. Um, I could definitely sand this off. Maybe I'll just sand this and clear coat it. This isn't working out the way I thought it would. I'll finish buffing off the rest of it though. Okay, so Evie is finishing up the um, cabinets, and I'm going to put the emblem in here if I can figure out what else in my pocket. <laughs> I uh, sanded up the emblem. Well, I started polishing it because I thought it would look cool shiny, and then I dug in a little too much with the Dremel, and I said, screw it, and just sanded it and made it kind of matte like the rest of this. And now I'm just going to put this little puppy in. Maybe it'll go upside down. I think it'll look better that way. Yeah, it looks a little better and uh, bolt this in and then we got this white piece of trim right here which will go down in here and I'll just uh, bolt these in real quick and slap this puppy back on see how it looks oh man that already looks a million times better we're gonna do the bumper too uh, we're gonna eventually get a new bumper because it's got that big dent right there but we're just gonna sand it off real quick and just do a real quick spray job uh, probably tomorrow or something just tape off the grill and everything so it doesn't get sprayed on um, it doesn't have to be great, but I think it would look so much better if this was black, so we're going to do that. This grill is actually a little easier than the Astro. Alright guys, so there's one step left. I got this thing installed. It looks awesome besides the bumper. I definitely am going to paint that because it looks way out of place now. It looks terrible. The grill looks great despite all my pollen marks on it. Just one step left put my sticker on there just in case uh, in case somebody else ever works on this thing I want to make sure that their uh, unit is safe here so I'm gonna install this okay, if you guys want to get some of these for yourself I'll put a link in the description <laughs> <laughs> this is great check it out Alright guys, so I think that's it for the day. Uh, the sun's going down and uh, we've had a long, very hot day here. 
Uh, catch you tomorrow. Love you, so.